Would you please welcome Faith Brown? <laughs> There's your beef. Oh, mm. God, I put lip mm. oh, I just put lipstick all over you. Now. Uh, make up, please, Ian. Make up, make up, please. There's your belated Thank you, friend. darling. Yeah. Not a makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I saw where you went. To it was first. a bit. Uh, no, oh, I've got my present. At least I've opened it in that time. Well, yeah. camera number one's excited. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Faith, this is beautiful. Oh, oh lovely. I hope you like it. My I darling. do, sweetheart, and I'm going to. Oh, double. Bling, You'll have to bling, double bling. it. Off, like, well, I'll have to do it. Because um, we're going to have a chat. But we first are. of all, um, while someone's going, oh, there's your chart. But first of all, I want everyone to know because I saw you, sweetheart. I mean, we've known each other for years. Yes. And I saw Faith, everyone, at the Opera House in Blackpool. What, when was that done? Last year? Last year, yeah. And um, I went to see my friend. And Sunset Boulevard, it's a massive part, um, Norma Desmond. Yep. In fact, Faye Dunaway sued because she never got it. That's true, Over yes. in Hollywood. Yep. Glenn Close played it. Uh, Patty... Patty LePont. All played it. Elaine and, Page. Uh, Elaine Page, mm -hmm. everyone. And this, believe me, in my opinion, is the best Norma Desmond. Aww. The voice, the incredible <laughs> performance Aww. towards the end when she realises that he's never going to come back and it's never going to work. I tell you, oh, no. the, the, the William Holden, but the performance, you have got to see it, but it's, has it finished now, the tour? It's finished. Oh, yeah. I tell you, though, Faith, I mean, the voice is just rapturous. Are we going to get a chance, Peter, talking to my director, to hear us sing? Yeah. We are. Fabulous. Will you tell me when? Well, yeah, but will you give us a burst later on? I'll give you a little burst. Because you see... I've got a bit of a bad throat. I've caught it off you. Well, I know. Us. But you see, you, 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 but you are just so magnificent. And you see, if Ian, you and I are going to be the new East Life... <laughs> you've got to get their throat better. We've oh, got to hear the voice. Good. Oh, fantastic! But you, I mean, you've been, um, you've been on television and everything else. When did your turn? I mean, we talked about Ian. He's come out of Steps, gone into the West End. You were known as an impressionist, but then you went into Brookside and started acting. Was mm -hmm. that where you first started, baby? Well, that was the first one, yeah. But I was rubbish. I was really dreadful. Be oh, I was. I, I, I'll admit it because I didn't get any really real direction in retrospect. Because with that, you know, it's like a conveyor belt. You just go on and you, you sort of don't have time to rehearse even, you know. And I was all highs and arms, you know, where I should have been very down and very quiet, you know. So I learned a lot by that, actually. You know, the other thing I saw you was Summer Holiday, and that was at the Opera House Manchester. Yeah. And you came on as the American, was it the mother of the girl who was kidnapped? Mother of Barbara, that's, that's right. That's right. And, yeah. and that was fantastic. In fact, another friend of mine, Ross... Um, I would actually say Ross Kemp, but it's not. It's the one with the hair, the other no. one, um, who, who was in that. Um, and uh, he was splendid too. But you know what I've always thought, Faith? You have this ability, because the, even the way you speak, you have this Americanization of, not Emily, but of Faith. And I've always thought that surely you should be doing more in the States because you are an American woman, really, aren't you? You've got the style, even the way you talk. You'll be so accepted out there. Is it because you're such a mum to your lovely well, daughter? Well, I love Danielle, my baby. She, yes. I mean, my baby now is 26. I mean, you know, when I talk about my... But she's still my baby. And when I go to America, it's funny, because when, when people don't see you on television, they think you're dead, you know what I mean? No, but I'm still alive, you know what I mean? Alive and kicking. <laughs> it's true, they do think you are. Where is she? I haven't seen her for ages. But they don't realise that I'm working in America, I'm working in Europe, I'm so working all over all the place. Things, Absolutely, I am. Fantastic. Well, because, you see, your chart, you're a Gemini. Yes. Which we've known because you can play all these characters and different people. Taurus Rising, which is where this fabulous voice comes from, like you, Ian, darling. You've got that Taurian bit. Aww. You've got your Taurian bit. The Taurus is the voice. Barbara Streisand, Taurus. These two, Taurus. And you see, you've got your moon in Cancer, too. And that is so much the sign that Americans love. Because yep. they're born July the 4th, which is Independence Day. And that means, being a Cancerian, you're going to be like somebody who understands the American culture and the American desire for big entertainment. Mm. And, I mean, all I've got to Thank say you. to you, my sweetheart, is more parts like Norma Desmond. Because you... I mean, it's just too amazing. Oh, there you are, darling, look. 
There you are oh, with your dark right. hair. With my dark I mean, hair. absolutely fantastic. And I just wish you could see it, everyone, because you know I have infuse for talent and quite frankly people who aren't talented well they you won't ever see them because they'll never be on this show it's you and know, i can't know. get a word in that way it's like you know what i mean i'm just out you know you, i can't with you there russell i love you dearly but can i get a word in <laughs> bling bling <laughs> no, just, ching, go on. that was funny you know when i did when when he stumbles on my um house you know, this uh, out-of-work uh, scriptwriter, he stumbles on, as Norma Desmond this is, and he stumbles on my house, and um, the entrance, when he comes in, when he comes in, he says, hey, he says, I know you. He said, you used to be in movies. You used to be big. And I just said, I am big. It's the pictures that got small. You know, it's just it's wonderful. Just you know, it was fantastic. Well, I know I'm, I'm digressing. I'm oh, honestly, I, I could just, like, she the Ferguson, sure I could just talk to you all for Aww. ages. Now, uh, <laughs> whilst I fix my blinker ching, we're going to go to musicals because they're our thing.